Hello friends, so about two, three days ago we talked about how in the NLP space uh, the number of parameters in the models has increased exponentially. For example, the GPT-3 published well, has got 175 billions of parameters and actually a couple of days ago Google published this paper, Switch Transformers, um, which has uh, which was trained to around 1.6 trillion of parameters. But beyond the headline numbers, um, what enables them to, to train such a large model? And in this paper, Switch Transformers Scaling to Trillion Parameter Models with Simple and Efficient Sparsity talks about how do they make training more efficient, faster with same computational power, and some scaling issues. So today I thought what I would do is to look at the paper in a little bit more detail and talk about a few features in the paper. So for example, at the very core is the switch transformer architecture. The paper also talked about how do we deal with uh, load balancing, routing, uh, in terms of we have got an even number of, of tokens assigned to different experts, uh, selective precision, and a lot many other techniques. So at the very core of the paper is uh, of the architecture is uh, this switch transformer architecture. And in the transformer, instead of having this feed forward layer, the authors replaced it with a mixture of expert model. So what mixture of expert model about is, if we think about in the boosting where we have got different models and then we do an average across different models to, to compensate for each other's strength and weaknesses, the mixture of expert models argues that instead we should be choosing an expert for a particular task because they're, they're good at it. So we would have uh, some sort of manager or router that points towards taking the tokens and then say, okay, this expert is good at this task, let's assign um, the expert to do this task. Now, how do we decide uh, how does the router assign the task? We do that by, during training, we assign a probability, we train a probability together with the lost. And in a lot of the mixture of models papers, uh, people tend to take the top K number of experts for the tasks. But in this paper, the authors argue that instead we should just focus on K equals one. So we choose only one, the top one expert. And the benefits are threefold. First, it reduces the routing computational cost. Second, it reduces the communication cost. And thirdly, the batch size is at least halved. Because now we're just focusing on one expert instead of uh, two or multiple ones. And in terms of load balancing routing, to train a model in parallel, model has to be easily partitioned. So the question is how do we load balance each expert such that each one receives even number of, um, even distribution of tokens. So in the paper, how it does it is by introducing a load balancing loss such that we encourage um, each expert to have uh, received even number of tokens, even distribution number of tokens. Now in the paper, it also talked about many other techniques uh, such as selective precision. Um, for example, when training with uh, floats 16 tensors, um, the model tends to be unstable. Uh, so what the authors did was select selectively casting some tensors to be float 32, uh, which is discussed in section 2.4. And many others. For example, how do you regularize um, largely sparse model? Uh, one way to do is to have small dropout for non-expert layers. And um, for example, the paper said it was 0.1 uh, has a dropout rate of 0.1, and whereas the expert layers has a much larger dropout rate of 0.4. So yeah, if you're interested, I encourage you to check out the the paper, and I hope uh, you find this useful.